Welcome back to this week's episode of Unlocked. Last week we had Nanny, and this week, well, introduce yourself. You got me. me. Person that shows up every four months to save your views. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Is that what it is? <laughs> exactly what it is. Okay, yeah, we got Grayson. And to y'all, we are dying here in Nashville of allergies. It is wild. I got my flu game going like Jordan right now. What the heck is that? It's okay, don't worry about it. What does that even mean? Jordan played a game with the flu. It's too much to explain. Okay. Well, I mean, you don't have the flu. You just have allergies, but we'll go with that. I do feel like Jordan a lot of the time, though. What? Don't worry about it. I don't even get, like, how you operate through life. I don't either. It's wild. Surprised they're letting me in school. Yeah, no. You're a smart kid. (sighs) Depends on the day. No, it depends on how much effort you put into it. Because what kills me is your laziness and lack of effort that you put into things. I don't have laziness. Yes, you you do have laziness. On what? Grayson, you don't get up when your alarm clock goes off. I was sick this morning. That doesn't no. count. No. No, it's every morning. I do get up. How do you expect to go to college when you won't wake up? Because I will. No, you won't. I will. Our biggest argument in our household right now is he wants to go to college in January, and I'm saying no. Not happening. In my defense, one of my parents is telling me yes. One of my parents is telling me no. Mom said somebody's going to be pissed off either way, so you need to go. Is That's exactly what she said. Yeah. All right, then I will confront her with it. She's been waiting for you, too. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> She's been That's fine. If you want to go to college in January, then I know. I you get figure no help. it out. That's what I plan on doing. Okay. Figure it out. Because you figured it out by yourself this far. No, I won't say by myself. Yeah, exactly. It you want to go to college so my, you can party. My whole thing, but my whole thing is this. If that's what you're riding on. Yeah. Do you think from January to August I'm going to change my mind? You're going to have some more time to my, my thing is this. Get a job. Do this entire thing. First of all, I've been working since I was 6 years old. Okay. But do this entire thing. You have yet to give me one single reason how it will negatively infect affect me. I've told you. Not how you. You're not you're not mature enough. That's what you think. You're but not mature. Let me finish. I'm putting myself back where I should be cuz I should be a senior right now. No. Yes, I would. Because Grayson, you were held back at four years old. But I should be a senior. You don't get to. No, you were but a if creamy I wa- baby. If I was, that didn't matter. If I wasn't held back at four years old, then I would be a senior, right? Grayson. Yes you, or no? Yes or no? Stop with attitude because it doesn't come across attitude. well. You going into school halfway through the year is not good. My thing is, I wish sometimes you would let me learn my own mistakes. But I, so you, you want to learn your own mistakes, but me pay for it. Let me, let me ask you this. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm still, let me, let me ask you this. I'm still getting it done. But just like you learned from your own mistakes, what did you do at 17? I moved out on my own. You moved out. You went off to college. Okay, well then, guess what? If you the regret best lesson that, I learned, I do regret it. If you regret that, then let me learn the hard way. But, okay, by you learning the hard way, you just so you know. With you? you know why I want to go early? Yeah, why? Because I don't have to hear about mom and dad every day. That doesn't have to be a normal thing for me. I'm going to have my own life. I'm going to be doing what I'm doing. I'm going to know what I'm doing each weekend. So what? You just think you're going to act like other people in our family and just... No, because Go nobody in our family has finished college. The first off, you don't get to throw jabs I'm not at me throwing like it, that. I'm not throwing it at you, but I'm saying I'm like, financially you're talking, you're talking about Chase. I'm financially. I'm not talking about anybody. I'm financially doing better than most people than with a college degree. Everybody in our family, and I haven't so, said that. But what I'm saying is, for 16 years, I didn't want to go. I thought it was stupid. I thought there was no point. I told Dad I wasn't going. Now I've decided to go. And I've heard people argue about kids taking a gap year and then going. I've never heard somebody argue about going early. You want to go for all the wrong reasons, which is my issue. 
That's not true. That's what you think. You want to go, Grayson. But here's you the- want to go so you can go to football games and so you can party. And so it, you can't even get up. It would be different if you could keep your room clean. If you could get up to an alarm clock. If like you're you're going to go to college, but you can't even do the basic bare minimum. But I will be able to when it's just up to me. When no, I have to do it. That's that's not. Yes, I will. Then that's a very selfish mentality. It's not a selfish mentality, but it's it's, it's very selfish if you're not. sitting here saying that I'll do I, it when I need to. That's not true. I've been good about it recently. Ever since you got mad at me, I've been down there when she was there. I want parents' advice on whether they let their child go early. Or go when they were supposed to go. Because you're wanting to go. It would be different if you said, hey, this is what I want to do with my life. All that I've heard you talk about is. What I tell you the other day. And. What I tell you what it be the other day. That I got on a call with Lee to talk about and talk to two other people about. That I want to be a sports agent. But she didn't listen to that. And I told I you did. I'm majoring in business and minoring in sports management. So I do have a plan. I already have an internship set up with Lee at WME and their sports section. So I do have a plan. That's what I want to do. Okay. Okay. This is more of an off-camera conversation than an on-camera conversation. Well, it's just we're always going to we're not going it's to about, agree with it. It's we're not going to. But then I will let you learn from and your own is, mistakes. This is me. And just when and when you learn from your own mistakes, that means you learn from your own mistakes. You don't get help. Right. It will be just like I did with Dad. I did but, it all on my own. But it's not the same. It is the same. It's not though. It is. It's not. It's not. You Ooh. and I both know it's not. You and yeah. I both know it's not. Yeah. you'd. Uh, why should I have to subsidize something I don't agree with? I literally said when I walked in here, this was going to be the conversation. Well, good God, I see huh? I can't remember. She did. You wore an Alabama shirt, so technically you did. <laughs> that is a very <laughs> manipulative way to twist that. <laughs> Just because I wore an alley, it doesn't have... You sparked the topic of does, conversation. It doesn't have January and fine print on the front of it. You sparked the conversation by wearing an Alabama shirt. Just like I said yesterday, we're not going to agree on this. So. No, we're not. We're not going to agree on this, so therefore we're going to agree to disagree. And like you said, you're almost 18, so you can make your own decisions, and that's what you will have to do. And I'm not going to worry about it anymore. But the issue is that it is not the same thing as what you went through. The whole reason that dad cut you off was not because you went to college early. He cut you off because... I made a decision, just like you were saying. you You made a decision. You learn from your own mistakes. And you learn from your own mistakes. Exactly. So it's still mistakes. I'm not going chasing a specific girl. But my point is, is whether I go to Alabama or I go to Ole Miss, or I go to Coastal Carolina. What's the common denominator there? What's there? Girls. So it doesn't matter where I go. That's going to happen. Yeah, but you have a party mindset. I don't. My mindset is if I want to be there and have fun, I have to do good enough to stay there. Because if I don't do good enough to stay there, I can't do all that party stuff. They're going to kick my ass out. I. I don't think it's fair for you to say, I'm not helping you with anything. Figure it out just because you don't. How is that agree. not fair? I, I. How is that? Not Have fair? you not complained about dad doing that to you? But guess what? I understand it. Why should I have to be resentful of like situation. giving my money to things I don't agree with? But it's not the same situation. I'm not asking you to pay for it. I haven't asked you to pay for it. But when it comes to helping me find a place, helping me do stuff like that, 
What are you well, going to do? You can just live sit, on campus the first year. What are you going to do? Just sit there and let me hang high and dry until I figure it out? Is that what you're going to do? Grayson, first off, your attitude right now is I'm not, not I haven't raised yes, my voice yes, one time. You're raising it right now. I'm not good signing. I haven't raised my voice one time. You I'm are. To it's have, your tone and the way that you are raising your voice. You are. Aaron, what else are we going to talk about? Because <laughs> we're never going to agree on this. So let's move on. What I'm trying to think. Okay, so Nanny just came on and dude, we were sitting talking about all the things that dad did. And then we were telling stories about how it would go over there. I would sneak out. I would like so. See, and I've never done that. I just ask if I can go do things. Grace, like, you just haven't gotten caught. No, I've ne- I swear to God, on mama's life may her die right now. I've never just snuck out. I've always been allowed to do what i wanted to do and i was always too afraid to dad too afraid of dad to get caught okay um and with you i don't sneak out i just ask you if i can go do stuff yeah but it's yes. also it's not like i let you be out till no but i also don't have morning. i don't have i don't really want to yeah like i like I to stay do. i like to stay home and like play the game and talk to my friends I don't yeah really like that's good that's good I I have reasonable boundaries and rules. This episode of Unlocked is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Most of you listening right now are probably multitasking. Yep, while you're listening to me talk, you're probably also driving, cleaning, exercising, or maybe even grocery shopping. But if you're not in some kind of moving vehicle, there's something else you can be doing right now. Getting an auto quote from Progressive Insurance. It's easy, and you could save money by doing it right from your phone. Drivers who save by switching to Progressive save nearly $750 on average, and auto customers qualify for an average of seven discounts. Discounts for having multiple vehicles on your policy, being a home homeowner and more. So just like your favorite podcast, Progressive will be with you 24-7, 365 days a year. So you're protected no matter what. Multitask right now. Quote your car insurance at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates national average 12-month savings of $744 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June of 2022 and May of 2023. Potential savings will vary. Discounts not available in all states and situations. Apartments.com has more rental listings than anywhere else. So finding the perfect place is easier than ever. And so is finally moving in together. Just the two of you. It's a big step. I know. Lots of new responsibilities. Lots of adjustments. Most likely, they'll wake you up at odd hours to go to the bathroom. And you'll most definitely find yourself in trouble coming home late for dinner. They might even unroll all your toilet paper next time. It's just what happens when you two find a new place together. But you're not doing it because you feel like it. No, you're doing it because you love them, because they're family. And that's why Apartments.com has the most pet-friendly rental listings on the internet so that you and your furry family can find the perfect new place together. Apartments.com, the place to find a pet-friendly place. Ladies, Imagine a bra that you actually want to wear. You probably can't think of one unless you already own Honey Love. Today's sponsor, Honey Love, has revolutionized the bra game. Say goodbye to underwire and bulky fabrics that trap heat. Honey Love's bras feature supportive bonding that eliminates the need for underwire without sacrificing lift. They're made with fabric that's so soft, it feels like a second skin. You'll immediately feel and see the difference. It's so next level comfortable, you'll forget that you're even I'm wearing it. Plus, my weight fluctuates, and when my weight fluctuates, my bra sizes fluctuate. And that's where Honey Love has been a game changer for me. Let's face it, it's time to spring clean your bra drawer. For a limited time only, you can get Honey Love on sale. Get 20% off your entire order with our exclusive link, honeylove.com slash unlocked. Support our show and check them out at honeylove.com forward slash unlocked. There is a sibling dynamic of just like, obviously we're not going to cover for each other if it's like putting our lives at risk. No, but if it's something little, there's no point. There's no point. Like that's what siblings do. Siblings cover for each other. And it's just like little white lies. Like, oh, is so-and-so home? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're They're, asleep. They're asleep. (laughs) I forgot. What was it one time? 
didn't you have to get me on like a three way call? Like, because dad was like, where's Savannah? Yeah. And you're like, oh, she's just, she's in bed. And you were, like, you were like, he was like, take the phone to her. And then somehow you like got me on another phone. And I was like, I'm, I'm in bed. What do you need? <laughs> the things we have done. I've done that so many times. <laughs> or like having to lay clothes out. So when you got back, you put them on and then got in bed. And it looked like you were in bed for all night. <laughs> did didn't you oh my gosh that is oh because remember dad was gonna come over to the my house yeah oh my god i forgot about that what was she i weren't doing? answering what was i doing i, I was god out only so, knows. i was out with someone somewhere who knows there's no talent <laughs> there's no talent i want to honestly grayson with our the with our relationship it has got to be weird for y'all because no it is because i still look at you as my sister well of course and then you tell me something i'm like well who yeah she's telling me to do that like well because i and then i and then i remember that like you're technically like my parent at the time so. yeah but it still has to be weird for y'all because like we've always been close but obviously you didn't know like all the ins and outs. So like yeah, me and dating know, and me, like I that has like, to be weird for y'all. How our relationship has changed. Well, say that again. You, I said how our relationship has changed. What about it? You've turned into more of the parent. Because it's like there's certain things that I would do. Yeah. For example, <laughs> if you weren't my parent, you would be like, Go. Considering the fact that you are my parent, you have a different outlook on it. Well, yeah, because you have to have some discipline. Like, I can't be the cool, fun sister. I really get the shit end of the deal over here because no, I have really to do. be the bad guy while everyone else gets to be the fun one. With mom and dad, dad can get away with being the bad guy because then you have mom. Yeah. But now it's just you. You're just the bad guy. <laughs> Thanks. I, I mean, appreciate I mean, it. Robert's kind of the good guy, but... <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. So I have to be the one to like put the hammer down and have, you know, when, but I rarely do I do that. But it's I like worry about me. making decisions, especially recently that could not ruin our relationship, but definitely hurt it for a little bit. In what way? I What we just talked about. I talked to mom on the phone. I was like, you know, I'm worried like. I know I, I need to make the decision, but like I don't want like Sven to like not speak to me for like six months okay. because of it. Well, I'm never gonna not speak to you because th that I would rather like disagree with you in a conversation than not speak. Yeah, but I know how you. Dad was like. Dad could like not speak to you for like three months. Yeah, but that was also Dad, and especially um, with how we are. Yeah, like that's this is all we have. Yeah. So then it's like, damn, yeah, but that was dad's own trauma. really am figuring it out on my own. That was dad's own trauma and stuff that he had to work through. And, but I'm never going to not speak to you. I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to like, not like what you have to say, but like, I still love you. I'm still going to be here. Yeah. I just may not like it. So you can't be afraid of making decisions, but you also have to make mature decisions. And I feel like, I feel like in my way, I feel like I am. Cause I truly believe that if I waited that long, it wouldn't go. Cause if I did what you want me to do, which I mean, it's a smart idea, which is work, you know, get my real estate license, work with you. I would look at it be like, you know, I have this going. What's the point of me going? Like if I'm working at this, making money, what's the point? You know, put it all on pause and then go. There's no point. Yeah. And I, I just, I mean, crap. If I take a week off of school, I don't want to do it. Let yeah. alone eight months. But that's like saying, oh, I'm off for summer, so I'm not going to go back next year. No, it's it's different when it's you have a choice. Like, that's my choice if I want to go or not. Okay. Now, like, if I take summer, if I have summer, I know I've got to go back. 
Like, I don't have a choice. Yeah. But with that, I'll have a choice if I want to go or not. And if I know it's my choice, I'll be like, what's the point? And that this way, I would graduate in December and then start right in January. So I'm not going to have that time to think about it like I'm not going. Because I know, I mean, I know I need, I need to do it and I want to do it, but I really don't think I would go because it wouldn't make sense to me. But it, it would. Because I would, I would be leaving making money to go to school and then have to come back and do it again. Why would I not just stay and keep that going and make it bigger? Yeah. Instead of leaving for four years. Okay. And yeah. another thing you is, do have a valid point. And like I've been, I know it's not your traditional job, but I mean you know better than anybody. Yeah, been working since I was six years old. Yeah, to have four years not having to do that because I did that. Like I don't get me wrong, I know I'm gonna have to do it again. Yeah, in my life, like I'm not in denial like some people. No, you are very much like you want to be successful. You want to work hard. You, it's just this little area of and two i feel like a lot of mine comes from fear of not wanting you to make the wrong decision but i get that i know you don't want me to leave but like like i said earlier like i know i'm gonna make mistakes and i'm smart i'm not the smartest person yeah, in the world but there are but some mistakes that, that can are ruin your life long but i feel mistakes. like i understand that more than you think i do I feel like I understand that way more than you think I do. Because I understand that I, that the thing, the person that that's affecting is me. Yeah. So, of course, I'm going to be scared of it more than anybody else. Well, yeah. Like going out here, getting a chick pregnant. Yeah. Uh, no, thank Drinking you. and driving. Clearly, I know not to do stuff like that. But like also what you understand is I'm more afraid of that than you are. I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to get in trouble for doing something stupid. Like, I would rather walk six miles than risk that. Yeah. Because then the rest of your life is like over. So I think what I'm having a hard time with is knowing that I'm not going to have control over decisions that you make. That's that could potentially ruin the rest of your life. That's exactly what I thought. And that's I mean, that's completely valid, but. I've got to leave at some point and yeah but like you've gotta and here's the thing like i'm not i'm not gonna go here and do stupid stuff like i know i talk about it all the time but most i'm probably not gonna do that as much as i think i'm going to i'm also the type of person that will go sit in a baseball game by myself and sit and watch it yeah like i'll go sit in a basketball game by myself and go sit and watch it yeah like i also understand that i've got to do stuff and keep my stuff in order to be able to do stuff. <sighs> what is life? What is life? What is life? And I understand it's probably harder now because of our situation. Well, yeah, because we look at it and too, the more outspoken I am, the more it pisses the government off. I know it firsthand. I already see things unraveling that shouldn't be unraveling because I'm speaking out about things that are very justifiable. Like I I'm standing up for what's right. And so therefore I'm being attacked and I know they would love nothing more than to see, Oh, Grace and Chrisley did this or that, or yeah, like people love that. our downfall. Dad always told me and he it's burned into my brain. If you're with a group of people, and somebody in that group gets in trouble. You're going to be the one that's up there. Yeah. Without a and doubt. That's, if you realize I don't have 20, 30 friends. Good. Neither do I. Have I have two. Two that I hang out Good. with. But that's really all. But Good. I've I know that. So if I'm ever in a situation where something could happen, I just leave. Yeah. And get myself out of it. Okay. Well, see, look, we kind of like came around a little bit on a conversation. I feel like you and I saw stuff better when neither one of us is yelling. Yeah, no kidding. That's why you're just yelling and i was like stop yelling that's communication but also also you're a lot like dad if it's not your opinion how you want it at the time frame you want it 
You don't like it. That's not true. <laughs> that is not true. Everybody says that you are a carbon copy of Todd. That is not true. You just have to think of things that we have been through. No, I know. And that I, like I allow us to from. see things different. And I'm not saying you're wrong for where you're coming from. But my whole point is the fears you have now are not going to change from January to August. Well, maybe you'd grow up a little bit more. Not really. <laughs> but the fear <laughs> you're still going to have. Not really. You're still going to have the same fears from January to August. Okay, but it's not going to so, change those fears. This episode of Unlocked is brought to you by BetterHelp. You guys know I've spoken about BetterHelp time and time and time again. And that's because I am a firm believer in their product. I mean, BetterHelp is absolutely amazing and it's all online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you do is just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapist at any time for no additional charge. I don't know about you, but 2024 has started off with quite a bang and for me being a single parent single income household trying to deal with finances kids my own personal mental health it's all been a huge challenge I am not going to lie and that is where therapy and better help has come into play because I have started to realize that if I am not my best self possible then how in the heck am I going to be able to operate so that's where I turn to better help let's face it you've got valentine's coming around the corner and if you don't have someone that's okay you can become your own soulmate whether you're looking for one or not you can visit betterhelp.com slash savannah today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Savannah. Apartments.com has more rental listings than anywhere else. So finding the perfect place is easier than ever. And so is finally moving in together. Just the two of you. It's a big step. I know. Lots of new responsibilities, lots of adjustments. Most likely they'll wake you up at odd hours to go to the bathroom and you'll most definitely find yourself in trouble coming home late for dinner. They might even unroll all your toilet paper next time. It's just what happens when you two find a new place together, but you're not doing it because you feel like it. No, you're doing it because you love them, because they're family. And that's why Apartments.com has the most pet-friendly rental listings on the internet so that you and your furry family can find the perfect new place together. Apartments.com, the place to find a pet-friendly place. I hope you know just because you're going to, if you go to college a semester early, that doesn't mean you're going to stay a semester later. Oh, I know. I know that. That would make sense. I, I could. No, but what I'm saying is, you're not going to drag a four year plan into five years. Oh, I know. I want. I want to, but I know I won't. Yeah, no, that's not happening at all. No, no. So just to make that clear, so we have right. it here on Unlocked no, in Savannah. I, I know that, but I just. I know. I feel like you have very valid reasons, and I also have very valid reasons. Huh? But I, I mean, don't feel like it'll ever be something that we completely agree on. Well, no. But I feel like it's kind of got to be just an agreement of like, you know, like, I don't completely agree with this, but if this is what you're going to do. Then I'm going to be there for you. But well, of course, I'm going to be there for you. Like, I just don't want it to be this. I feel I don't feel like it needs to be this huge argument. Like, it just it, there's no point. Nothing's going to be solved by that. It doesn't need to be this whole big deal of like. Hey, you're going eight months earlier, so I'm going to, like, be pissed off at you for it. That's not, like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, comment. I'm just saying, like, it just... Sometimes it pisses me off how rational you are. <laughs> it, my whole thing is, like, I feel like the reason, the reason I kind of got pissed off is because, of like, you let me take the classes to graduate early? No, I told you you couldn't. And then you went ahead and did it anyway. That actually, you were all, tell me if I'm wrong, probably a couple months ago, you were all for me graduate early. No, I was not. You said, you said, is there, you literally asked my teacher to get a list together. Is there any way he could get done early? Yes, but that was for other reasons. And so I thought you were all for it. And I, but you let me do it. And then you were like, you're not going. I'm like, 
okay, then what was the point? Because, yeah. like... Well, you are going to... The good thing is we don't have to make a decision until August 1st. So. Okay. Well, good thing is we're not making a decision until then. So, we've got some time. Why are you looking at me like that? Just So, we got time. Yeah, we do. When do you have to have your applications in? August 1st. You got time to change my mind. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> That's fine. So we're kind of at our, you know, we've had a little bit more of a rational conversation. We're at where we're at. I want to hear people's experiences of who've gone to college, like in January versus the fall, like normal people. And nothing we've done is ever normal no we're like why why break it up now because maybe that's why our life why, has just been a big why, shit fest why make things normal now maybe that's why our life has been a big shit fest because we have not done anything normal i don't like normal. what i don't like normal well you know I would say I like normal, but I go from the furthest. We've never experienced normal. No, not at all. Not at all. And I look at my decisions and I'm like, yeah, I should. Probably could have made a better decision on that one. Yeah. I do that every day. Yeah. So it's tough being like sister and then having to be a parental figure. Yeah. And then. Because at first I was like, dude, you're still my sister. Like, come on now. Oh, yeah. No, the other thing I was going to say is it probably does have to be weird too for y'all to like watch me date like that has to be weird yeah like that has to be really weird it's so weird for you to date somebody that i like not <laughs> why you, not used to that that's not true eh, i put on a show that's not true i put on a show for a lot of it for a lot of them i will never forget chloe looking at me and she was like sassy come on you got to pick one of them. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you have made some questionable decisions. What do you mean? You've made some decisions where it looks like you were doing them a favor by dating them. Grayson, don't say that. And to y'all, I've done a really good job at keeping my dating life very quiet. So I have dated some people that nobody know about that. <laughs> Clearly, kids don't agree with. Oh, not at all. Okay, what if I have? What have I taught you, or what have you learned through my dating experiences? <laughs> Try them out to you find when you like. <laughs> That's what I've learned. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like ice cream. You got Try that. a flavor till you like it. <laughs> so, I mean, what? You, you've you got a date to know what you like and you don't like. Yeah, you're right, but at the same time, like. What? <laughs> but, like. You used to date, like, four people at the same time. That's Your not Your birthday, true. there was, like, 17 things of flowers from, like, different people. I was like, oh, who's this one from? <laughs> okay. Well, that was, like, you know a year ago and it's you know i mean it just is like what there's options and as long as you you know don't take anything too serious we're okay that's a way to put it you gotta know what you like and what you don't like and to anyone can like fake it for a year six months to a year like anyone can fake it so you gotta make sure like hey if this don't work out we got this is this. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely what a good person would say. Grayson, I'm messing with you. I'm like playing along with, I mean, kind of, but like. You're not. So see, you do it. Well, I had to figure out what worked and what didn't, what I liked and what I didn't like. That's the thing. It's like people think, and too, I hate the double standard for like guys and girls, because if a girl does it, she's a hoe. If a guy does it, he's cool. If a lock opens many keys, it's a pretty shitty lock. What? If a key opens a bunch of locks, that's a pretty amazing key. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what did you just so say? If a lock opens the many keys, that's a shitty lock. 
And if the key opens many locks, that's a pretty amazing key. Wow. Wow. How is that you really feel? <laughs> I would love to see what Aaron's thoughts are right I now. I the beginning, but I can tell this is interesting. What did you say, Gary? We she were, said we she were hates talking. the double standard of... He literally said, because we were talking about me dating, and he said, I me said... dating. I said, what <sighs> have you learned from my dating experiences? And uh, he said, it was I like ice cream or something. I said, it's like ice cream. Taste what till you, till you like it. But also said a lock that opens to many keys is shitty lock. Key that opens many locks is a pretty amazing key. So. <laughs> so I'm sad. If we're talking about ice cream, Savannah's probably also told, told you that the expiration date doesn't mean much. No. <laughs> Does not. Y'all, the expiration you know, date is referred to as dating age. My thing is, it's like, it's, oh my gosh, I think I just sent you this on Instagram 12 yesterday. 12 years older than you, 12 years younger than your mom. Hey, I sent this on Instagram. When I pop out with this 60 year old, just know I tried my best. You've you gotten young pretty ones. damn close. That's You've stuck up on 60 before. You're a liar. That is not true. It is true. So is this just roast Savannah podcast I'm now? Sorry, but no, but like, it's true. Y'all. It's Kevin a lot. Costner, Kevin Costner, there's still a chance for you. Okay. You're about to get a lot of lovers and a lot of haters for your comment care. that you just made. About really. locks and I, mini locks and little locks and whatever you just said. I, I really don't. They can say what they want. I'm so tired of listening to comments and DMs uh, from some yeah, keyboard war warrior. I thought my dating experiences would have taught you some like life changing monumental things. Did it? Just taught me how to hide stuff better. <sighs> what? <laughs> Taking that part out, you're gonna get my ass in some hot water. Damn, dude, you should be. <laughs> Well, Grayson, you're staying by the bell. It's time to pick up clothes. You're going to have to cut out 90% of this no, episode not. anyway. Well, wait. We got to we gotta end it. We got to close it. Let's go. All right. Yeah, just get up. All right. Um. Thank you. And that's a wrap on today's episode of Unlocked with Savannah.